And then, <laughs> and so, <laughs> that, so now like I, you know, I do lifestyle medicine and sleep's a big component of that. Right. But I, I, you know, I counsel and sleep and exercise and nutrition and stress mitigation. And then, you know, I do hormones and peptides and all that stuff on top of that. And hyperbarics, I have a lot of training in hyperbarics and even psychedelics. I don't prescribe them or so to say, but I, I don't administer them, but I have, I have resources that I send guys to. So I kind of like, I, I do, I kind of do everything to kind of keep people healthy. Um, uh, a healthy lifestyle and uh, optimizing health and performance is what I do. Uh, but what I'm best known for is sleep. So yes. that's how, that's how it all panned out. <laughs> so let, for our listeners, let's talk about sleep and the sleep stages. Yeah. And you mentioned earlier, kind of the consequences of not having deep and REM sleep, but let's dig into that a little bit more. What, w- what should we expect from our sleep architecture at night? Yeah. What's an ideal sleep pattern? You know, it is as long as you're, you know, reasonably circadianly aligned. Uh, you know, you would you would go to bed in a stage one, which is sort of the pre-sleep when you're, you know, you can hear other stuff going on in other rooms. You can hear your neighbor, or whatever. But it's it's a little different. It's almost like a dream. You're kind of like, you know, you're processing it slightly differently. Um, what <laughs> before I start all that, one of the questions I ask at my lectures. Um, that it, just because I find it entertaining, um, as, as I say, you know, who in the audience here can define sleep for me, right? And <laughs> never. I mean, I mean, I've been given this. I, I've been lecturing for fifteen years. I've never had anyone do it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and you know, I, I find that fascinating. Like right? I really do. You know, and and I I couldn't have defined it. You know, before I really dove into this myself, right? And I, and I was just like something every person on the planet does every day and nobody can define it that's that's kind of ironic right right uh, so anyway the the point of saying <laughs> that is like the the truest definition of of being asleep is lack of being awake right Which right is rhetorical <laughs> uh but that's that's really what it is and it's it's basically like it's it's an equal uh it's equally as important as your waking hours and the best way to define it is just like kind of the opposite of being awake because it's harder to find something you don't really have a subjective experience of right and even right. if you could define it well who could validate it because you don't really have a subjective experience of it 